Today we're going to find out what's inside this Thrustmaster sim wheel and how it works to allow you to feel the car and be faster on track. So how can some code and an electronic wheel best replicate the feeling of a Formula 1 car? As a racing driver, we use many of our senses to feel the car on the limit. And the main one is the feeling we get through the wheel. It gives the driver the confidence to control the car and hold it right on the limit. And this is the challenge with sim equipment, using electronics to replicate the complex feedback we get from a race car. So we're gonna look at how exactly they do it. But first we need to get an understanding of how the game, the computer and the wheel all interact. Essentially, the core of this is that the wheel measures inputs, a rotational input from the wheel to measure steering angle, a linear input from the throttle and a load measurement from the brake pedal. These are passed to the game, which uses a game engine to compute what the car is doing. It considers thousands of data points, things like car speed, direction, tire grip at the time, downforce and slip angle. It's slip angle that is the key here. It's the difference between the angle that the tire is pointing and the direction of the car's travel. This is what you feel as the wheel loads up through the corner. Now, as this is communicated to the driver through the screen, we may see that we are pushing or understeering wide, and also through audio where we may hear the tyres screech or lock up and through the wheel. It's how we as drivers feel the limit. If we exceed the grip limit, the wheel goes light, telling us we're understeering, or if it's heavy, we know we're getting close to the limit. And so the game uses all of these calculations to output force feedback to the wheel, which does some further calculations to turn this into the force feedback you feel. They do this by doing three things. First is creating a minimum force. This force is always there and essentially gives the wheel some weight. This builds as you wind on more lock, just like you would feel in a real car. The second is creating shock forces. This allows you to feel bumps in the road, hitting curbs, or even crashing into other cars. It replicates the real feeling you get when doing these things in a real car. And the last one is the most important. It's the slip angle. And this is the key to being fast. It loads and unloads as you approach the limit of grip and then exceed it. Great drivers learn for this and are able to drive lap after lap just below or on the limit. It's also what allows you to catch a slide. You often feel this through the wheel before you notice it on the screen. But what I'm really interested to see is what goes on inside this wheel. So we're gonna open it up and have a look. And then when you look inside the wheel, we've obviously got a circuit board here. So the information is coming from the console or the PC into the circuit board. Then the circuit board computes that information. So this is things like understanding what force feedback to give the wheel, um, if there's any bumps in the track and so on. The circuit board then turns this information into current, which then goes through to the motor. And this is what resists your steering input and gives you force feedback when you're driving in the game. So then over here we have the electric motor and on the back we have a Hall effect sensor. Now this actually understands the position of the electric motor and therefore the position of the steering wheel. The power then comes out of the electric motor here and goes through a series of gears and belts before the force is put through to the main steering component. This big section that you can see in the middle of the wheelbase here is, is just a series of bearings to keep the axle that runs through as stable as possible. As you can imagine, if you're driving with high force feedback, the load going through this part of the wheelbase is quite significant. So this white material here that you can see in the middle is actually a steering locks, as you would normally have in a road car, where you turn fully to the right and it stops and then turn fully to the left and it stops. And it's actually on a screw thread. So you can see moving here as I rotate what is essentially the steering wheel and then you get to the end and it stops any more rotation in the wheel. And the final thing to show you is just the last bit of data that goes through to the main steering wheel. So there's a set of wiring that comes through the steering column into a connector here and then finally into this Thrustmaster SF1000 steering wheel. 
One of the most interesting things about this steering wheel in particular is that you can get information and data from the game, such as tire wear and so on, on the dashboard here. So you can see as you're driving around in the game. And with the information that you can see on the screen and all of these fantastic buttons, you actually can make the same changes on the steering wheel that you would see the character make in the game. So now we've got the wheelbase open on the rig so that you can see the gears working and the force that is coming back through from that motor, through the gears and the belt into my hand. So when I'm driving along, it's quite a bumpy circuit here at Monza, you can feel the camber changes in the road. You can feel everything that's going on. When I turn into the corner, I can feel the tire load up and it gives me that sense that there's grip available. But then if I push it a little bit too hard, I can feel the understeer come, I can feel the rotation or the oversteer in the back of the car. And then the other thing that you can feel, as I mentioned earlier, is that force feedback. So the shock of the curbs. If you take a little bit too much curb on the, on the apex, if you hit a sausage curb, then you feel that obviously come back through the steering wheel but as a driver the most important thing is to feel the tire and the grip in the car because that's how you drive the thing on the limit and i'd just like to say a quick thanks to thrustmaster for sending us this sf1000 steering wheel which is a replica from the ferrari f1 car it's available this week and you can check out more in the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video, check out this other video which we think you'll love. Cheers and I'll see you next time.